when my higher goaler has the ball, should I be marking or should I be running into space? I, I think, to be honest, it depends a lot. Are you the second strongest player? Are you a beginner on the team? Um, what are your skill levels? Because if you're the second player and your high goal is getting the, the ball, I want you to be working for him all the time to put him in a sense in space before. And when you've done that, now you can start to run for the passes so that you're effective going there as well. But if you're the lower goal player, again, <laughs> I sound like a broken gramophone record. Okay, it goes back to the same advice, guys. There's nothing different. If you're the lower goal player and your high goal has got the ball, go mark the man in front, beat him, create the space, man line ball inside of the field. Now he's got somebody to hit the ball to and he will pass it to you. If it's in the goal mark, you've beaten the man. You've got a jolly good shot at, at scoring a goal. So if you those lower goal players playing with, let's say, two higher goal players, the second player has to really be focused on, on trying to work around that play, okay? And you'll find your high goaler actually, if you're the second player, will often clean out for you, you get the ball, and then he will slip behind you, you leave him the ball, and now you've created that situation where you're working for him, putting him into space, and then you're attacking. So it changes that defense into attack all the time. So are you the second player or are you the, the beginner player on the team? Um, that's a, a totally different equation. And if you are that low goaler on the team, mark, get the man, okay? So you were marking in defense. Now you turn and run into attack. Look for a player you can beat. Beat him. Get on his inside and beat him. Now you're running to goal, and when that pass comes, you're getting in there, and you've already beaten the man, and if you don't get the shot, your man didn't get it either that you're marking. So it goes back to the same advice. And, you know, I mean, I go back to playing with my dad, who was eight goals, and, and uh, every time I'd start chasing the ball, he'd say, boy, come here, give me your stick, and he'd take a stick and put it with his whip. And I'd have to go and play without a mallet. And he'd say, you can have this back when you can mark. And it might be two, three minutes. You'd go and make two good plays. He'd say, okay, you can do it. Now, you run after the ball again, that stick comes back to me. Until that man line ball becomes literally your default setting. And if you would do that, everything will simplify.